Blessings, beloved Light Tribe. The wave of new light which began on January 4th initiated the DNA drop. This initial wave continues through January 11th. Gatekeepers have been anchoring these all week. For those of you who were in service on the 12-12-12, you may notice that some of your awakened colleagues are beginning to experience what we experienced on the 12-12-12. Visions of streaming codes, golden DNA spiraling down into Gaia, ancient symbols, and some codes presenting as light language symbols. One of the more dramatic side effects of the DNA drop is the heightened awareness of multidimensionality. You may sense the merge of dimensional expressions in a stronger, more refined way. Rather than glimpses of the higher self or higher states of beingness, many of us are experiencing multiple dimensional expressions simultaneously. Understand this is a goal of the solar cosmic Christ, the synchronization of all aspects of self in several dimensions. Another side effect of new puritized DNA being available to us is a dramatic increase in pineal activity. The clarity can be startling. You may also be receiving more vibrant flashes in meditation or when lying in bed at night, eyes closed or open, and more pinpoints of light appearing in your energy fields. These are a side effect of the brain rewiring and the pineal responding to higher levels of light. The sensation of zero point, that beautiful state of now consciousness, is more readily available than ever. It will be easier to experience lengthier passages of that stillness, the silence, the true zero point, where unification of the multidimensional self intercepts the programs of the illusion of separation. By utilizing meditation or peaceful, quiet time in nature, we open ourselves to the natural flow of evolution and call in this next phase of the ascension path. Understand that the energies of 2015 will amplify the boomerang effect in a faster, stronger way. Alignment with the true self becomes a demand of the new light for the ascension bound. We are in a phase of heightened experience, which means that your experiences of negative emotion will also be amplified if you focus on the negativity in that way. Conscious direction of thought, action, and spirit will be a moment-to-moment -moment activity. This becomes an art in itself. We have entered a very accelerated part of our ascension process. At times, it may feel like the process is running us right over. Because of the amplification of this photonic light which demands love and harmony, we get to witness negativity lifting out of cellular structures and in every operating system running on the planet. As the Pleiadians mentioned last month, all of the work we have done prior to this was fine preparation. It is now put to the test in a much more immediate way. In brief, we are entering a state of beingness that has been foretold for a very long time. 2015, Mastery of Multidimensionality. All of the hitches and glitches, aches and pains, interrupted sleep patterns, energy surges, clearing and technical snafus take on a different meaning in 2015. They force us to be very immediate in the now moment and train us to align with the divine intentions of our higher self. While the energy supports a stronger clearing of the external world around us, we remain steadfast in our alignment with divine love and the goals of our ascension process. Your intentions will consistently and somewhat instantly reveal whether or not you are in alignment with your higher self. If your goal is to merge with your own higher states of consciousness, 
your own higher expressions, then your focus will be on absolutely aligning with the reality you are consciously choosing to ascend to. Make an agreement with your higher self, your Christ itself, and your divine team to show you each day, each hour, each moment what is in divine alignment. It will feel different than it has in the past. It will be much more instantaneous. Feel it in the heart. You will recognize the signs in your immediate reality if you pay attention. Pause often to see the signs. Plowing through a day, an hour, a moment without aligning with conscious flow is over. Understand that when you invite in the higher light consciousness, you surrender to the consequences of what it shows you. Resistance to alignment causes suffering. Flowing with alignment brings ease, grace, and profound insights if you attune your perception to what the truth has to offer you in the moment. An insight on collapsing systems. Negative programs only have until autumn of 2016 to continue to run negative control systems. I am referring to misguided humans who have long served a negative path. I do not subscribe to interdimensional racism or judgment of past attempts to control. New light, new paradigm, let us move on. Understand that the frequencies coming onto the planet are held by thousands of humans in service to the new light. That kind of light being embodied upon the planet is literally painful to negative beings. While I have compassion for those who made the wrong choices here and can imagine how disturbing these frequencies must be for someone carrying a lot of negative energy, I also see how important it is for those who are ascending to hold the absolute highest vibration and light quotient possible. Keep your energy fields clear and strong. Use your commands and agreements wisely. Clear the moment things present and take responsibility for your own journey. Self-empowerment is vital. Getting out on the land and connecting with Gaia, the kingdoms and elementals, is one of the most efficient ways to re-energize and rebalance quickly. Zero Point provides immediate results for pure intentions. Walk, breathe, stretch, intend, instant rejuvenation. Higher self-care. We will need consistent rebalancing as the multidimensional merge gets stronger and more pronounced. Simplify where you can. Engage in the new, because the old is going to feel very old now and quite burdensome. Give it up. Do not be frightened by what you are becoming. Let it unfold, no matter what. Be honest with those around you about your feelings and energy, or lack thereof. Humans in alignment will be patient if you are authentic. We are coming out of a long brainwash of performance and survival programs. Now we move into a new flow of performance which is not based on future results. It is the authenticity of now which matters most. Your multidimensional merge takes place in milliseconds of zero point, bit by bit, expanding to seconds, then minutes, and then a permanent state of beingness. At times it feels much more difficult than we expected, and sometimes it feels like we overshot the mark altogether and all is effortless. Don't let anxiety override the heart center. Hands on the heart, comfort the body, hush the mind, ego, and emotions gently, say I love you, and breathe. Self-care takes on a higher meaning this year, it's not a hot bath and a massage, although those are great. It is higher self-care, which is our theme. 
The psychological levels can be threatened by the heightened unknown as parts of the brain activate. Dormant structures awaken and try to make sense of what the rest of the brain has been up to. It can cause confusion or fear if the lower levels attempt to override the rewiring. Please stay centered if you are experiencing this. The psychological fallout of the shift has been a concern for some time. For an expansive sharing on these topics and others, consider listening to the Ascension Path call replay for this month or take your journey to a higher level this year with the Ascension Path online class. Blessings upon all of us engaging in this fascinating and powerful process.